I've seen a couple of posts on the Farming Simulator 15 Facebook page about uh, combine fires. Some people were wondering why that would happen. Well, think about how dry the chaff is from this grain. I mean, once it gets ripe, it's cut off from moisture. It gets very dry, and uh, then it comes in contact with a hot motor, and that starts a fire. Very easy to do. A fairly common occurrence on uh, farms at harvest time, unfortunately. Good news is, uh, very rarely are people hurt, and very rarely does it do any damage. Once in a while, the fire will get out of out of hand and, and burn an entire field or two um, of crops. And of course, you lose the combine, but uh, that's what insurance is for too. Um, my dad had a couple of fires. He he never had a self-propelled combine. It's always a pull behind. And uh, when he saw smoke coming up, and, or from the combine, he dis disconnected right away, pulled the tractor away, and then uh, he'd grab his fire extinguisher off the tractor, which he always carried, and he put out a couple of those pretty quickly. But then you have to figure out what got damaged and repair it so you can get back to harvest. Often uh, it means uh, a neighbor coming to the rescue uh, to finish harvest for you while you get your combine fixed, which is one of the nice things about farming. Farmers always help each other out. So yes, combine fires happen all too often, all too easily, and uh, a very unpleasant thing, a scary thing. The worst thing I ever saw living on the farm was a stack of hay bales catching fire <coughs> at the neighbor's house, or near the neighbor, well, in the neighbor's farmyard, basically, right on the edge of it. That brought every fire truck for miles around to contain that to keep it from spreading. But then once hay starts burning, it burns for days. I was uh, I was pretty young at the time. I was convinced that the flames were going to race across the field and burn our house down in our old farmyard. I was scared to death. neighbor felt bad who was helping. He was convinced it was his farm all tractor that uh, s that uh, shot sparks out of the exhaust and started the fire. He was helping haul some of the hay. You know, gets into one little bale <coughs> and he put it in the stack. Smolders for a little while <coughs> and finally starts burning. I, I don't know that it was actually his tractor's fault, but he felt like it was and felt really bad about it. There again, neighbors are pretty, pretty understanding, forgiving people. They don't, they don't hold grudges because they know what kind of challenges they face every day. Well, this is going to take at least half of this. Holy cow! What a down straw too. Woo Good thing I did this. Problem with straw is you also need straw for. Uh, for um, <coughs> the bedding in the barn. So I need another load of straw just to fill that up or to get some more in there. This is going to take it all. Holy cow. I thought I would have extra. <laughs> but no. Good thing I did this. They just did not make enough room to turn stuff around here. All right, let's get back up to the field and get ready to get some more of this stuff. So we got to get this barn filled with straw. Good thing I planted a big field of barley.
Well, I need to harvest some hay, but I haven't had time to get to that yet. And uh, I'd like to get some silage sold to the biogas plant, but I haven't had time to do that yet. Okay. I have anything in here yet? Nope, but still mixing away. In my jerry-rigged trailer. I'm gonna end up buying a cab for that, because <laughs> I I really could use that um, hitch for um, uh, transport. <clears throat> and uh, vehicle, and also for that um, wool trailer. I should check those sheep. And Turning radius on this truck sucks. And I don't remember it being that bad before, but it just, it, now it seems bad. Maybe I'm just more impatient. Boy, it's going to be long before that's full again, too. Oh, yeah, greenhouses, too. Wow. There's so much to do. Are we all done here, or are we full? Don't tell me we got full just moments before hitting the corner. Because that would kind of suck. No, I think he's done. It's kind of a crooked... Okay. That's it. Potato harvest is done. Now maybe I'll have time to get to the silage and the greenhouses. And, well, I don't have money for greenhouses right now, but... <coughs> I'd like to get those other two greenhouses make that operation a little more efficient. Okay. I guess we fold the harvester. Might steal a tractor from the uh, Sherman harvester. Cultivate this. Uh, truck seems to be in the way. Right. Oh, yeah, sure was. There we go. This is going to be. Let's see, I got to do spray. I got to do <laughs> Oh, what? Did I hit? I thought I was in speed one, and it said that's too fast. Uh, turn on sower, lower sower, turn on sower.
I have no idea if this is straight or not. I can't see a thing. I, I ain't gonna turn it. If it's if it's crooked, it's gonna be crooked at a consistent angle. Yeah, it's kind of crooked. Okay, let me turn this around. Stop. Get lined up, more or less, sort of, kind of. Probably going to have to go and manually fill in these rows anyway. There. All right, let's see what you can do. Nope, that's not going the way I want it. Sore. Okay. I have a hunch I'll be cleaning this up. When I can, daylight comes and I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, that's all over the place. Oh my god, this is going to be horrible. I'm going to be plowing and fixing and Oh, God. All right, let's... That was a huge fail. All right, let's see what you can do with this. See how bad this gets here. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to go back and fix all that I hope this is more or less right I mean I can't tell till morning but oh look at that look at how crooked that was that's terrible now we go the right direction or not no you won't and you missed part of it you suck I wonder if it'll quit when it gets to this spot, because it's all done. Yep. Okay. We will go to here. not get this straightened out there all right now let's see if it does right I'm gonna miss a little bit anyway aren't I dang it oh maybe I'll catch it all See if it goes the right direction. <clears throat> it should now. But it stops right there. Planting grass is a pain. And that, you know, what rhymes with grass. And look at this. It's going to miss all kinds of stuff at the end here. Yep. That is so dumb. All right, we've got that going, sort of more or less, kind of. Keep up with barley harvest here. Oop. 
And now maybe I can start some silage. Do you suppose? Whoa, don't turn that sharp. Good lord. Is this going to... Uh, I don't think this will fill up this time. We're having some fun now. That was an interesting experience, trying to plant grass in a straight line in the, at night where I can't see the other end of the field and having problems with the equipment and... I'll be bringing the plow out to straighten that out, I'm pretty sure. And probably muck that up, too, because I always do. You know, that's at 96%. That's close enough. I think I'll bring that in. Thank goodness plant two has some hay in it to work with. Or had some anyway. So there's some feed mixing. Started turning and all of a sudden lost track of where the driveway was. It was weird. Should take a check on prices. Eh, flat to low. And how much barley I've got. Not a lot. Not nearly as much as I'd like. Well, I'll be alright once I get done with that field, I guess. Uh, potatoes, yeah, that's alright. I'm not going to get too excited unless there's a great demand. Then I'll wish I had more, but too bad. I should check on the, uh, pretty sure the sheep are down to 5% productivity. Because they're out of... grass. So I may sell some more of those. Now, I've got to get this backed up kind of more or less straight. <laughs> oh, look at that. There. Let out a big sneeze just now. Aren't you glad I turned my mic off? So now I can get this right, see? That's you can't back a truck successfully when you have to sneeze. can't see what I'm doing in the dark. I hate this. Once again, I'm not centered on the tractor. It's probably going to cost me eventually. I have to move, pull forward and back in again. Yeah, already time. I thought I'd get a half a load at least, but nope. Oh, 
whoa. What am I doing? Actually, that was lined up pretty well. But I'm going to be off on the other side now. <laughs> Whoa. Check on harvest, and I need to reposition that uh, conveyor. There he is doing a bad job of planting grass, but oh well. Get most of it done. Trouble is, as soon as he's done, I'm going to have to go back and fix it right away, too, so it grows evenly. I guess I can wait till daylight for the plowing, but... This is as accurate uh, farming simulation as I can as I can make it. Um, I try to do everything legit. I do speed up time once in a while just for the uh, for your sake, so you don't have to sit and wait for crops to ripen. Because I'm not I don't have a big enough operation by myself to have fields ripening all the time. You would get tired of watching me constantly planting and harvesting. Um, I don't get tired of doing it. That's why I like Farming Simulator. But um, I am conscious of keeping you entertained as well. Where is that tractor in the... There it is. How to get this boy straightened out. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Look at that little delay. That's not real straight either, but it'll do, I guess. I'll do this right and hop in on the right side of the cab. You can get in the other side, but, you know, whatever. All right, let's see if I can bollocks this up some more. Thanks for watching. Join me next time when, once again, Tenacious Viking plays Farming Simulator 2013, Westbridge Hills.